Hi guys, so I wanted to go over leg protection in HEMA and the different ways you can protect your legs. I'm going to go from the grind down and I'm going to show you my preferred uh, method and uh, types of equipment I use to protect my legs. Okay, first and foremost, uh, protection for the grind. You're going to wear something akin to this. This is a cricket box, but there are different types of jockey straps. Um, lacrosse groin protection uh, I think there's hockey that does it uh, football as in American football um, I use cricket and I use this type of uh, so almost like trunks um, and they have a little pocket here so you can put your box in and it's nice and easy to put in quick um, doesn't take time to put in or anything like that some jockey straps and some HEMA groin protection takes a little longer to put on um, but that is my um, way of uh, protecting my groin uh, it's I've had cricket balls come at me at, you know 60 miles an hour I mean it hurts but um, when it hits that area but yeah, it works and the last thing you want is uh, bad stuff happening down there um, so that's what I use to protect that area and I have been hit there it hurts but it's um, it's protected so uh, <laughs> there's no bruising or anything like that um, so yeah that's my preferred um, method of uh, groin protection Okay, so after the groin protection is on and I've got my box on, the next thing I'm going to do is protect my, my knees. It's like an underlay. I've got them here. So I think these are really for stabilizing your leg or something like that. It's more of a health product than an actual protection, but it's got padding um, on the knee here. Um, and it's actually quite padded throughout. Um, so I'm going to put these on and I'll show you why I use these in a bit. So I go on, go over the knee like that. Um, and there's a hole at the back just for extra mobility um, and breathability. Um, and these are like sports type, so they breathe well and they're quite comfortable as well. So this is the next bit I put on. Okay, next is the greaves. Uh, these are a hockey type, so your, I'd say European style hockey, not ice hockey. This is the type of hockey you hit a ball on an AstroTurf pitch or grass pitch on. Um, and they're very well formed to the leg and they even have side protection as well. Um, so I'll put these on now. And they go over the knee protection or underlay protection. So now most of the leg is, or the bottom leg is covered. There is this back part here, um, um, but from side, any side hits, and even if there's some angles going backwards, I'm completely protected. I've got ankle protection here. I mean, not directly, but if it you know glances down, it's going to skid off and skip the ankle. The last thing you want to do is get hit directly on the ankle, um, but um, this still gives some protection to that. Um, so yeah, the reason why I use these is because they're form fitting, and there's a lot of humid protection um, for the lower leg that is just too bulky. When you're doing passing steps, you might clip a strap or something like that, and um, it just gets in the way. And if they're too heavy as well. You want the least amount of weight, maximum protection. These are really solid things. They're not. Um, you'd have to really whack the, uh, the leg to actually break these. Um, and even then, they've got a uh, foam padding underneath and. Um, not a massive amount, but enough to take a good hit. Um, you're not going to take massive hits with, to the leg um, if you get like a, a swiping 
guy who's going to swipe your legs and you do get hit you're going to be protected very well um, so yes yeah, so these are the next bits that go on um, and they're quite cheap as well a lot of uh, the HEMA protection for the lower leg it can be quite expensive um, but this is my preferred way of doing it um, so yes the next part will be the socks uh, so I'll go and get the socks I've got socks yeah so I've tested all different kinds of socks and what I could use um, so the first ones I started using were these spez ones from the HEMA shop um, they're okay um, they're not very long for what I want I, I want them going way up up to the knee these don't travel that far you have to really stretch them the good thing about these is they've got a little bit of padding on the front um, a little bit of textile padding um, and they've lasted me quite some time I think these are my second pair because the back started to the heel started to uh, rub away and it started oh, again okay, we go it's already started rubbing away there and there's it, the fabric just disintegrates uh, over use so I don't use them anymore uh, and then I started using these these are basic just um, they're very similar to the Spes ones um, but they're from a different company I got from Amazon and uh, they did okay um, I, I did get a cut on the back um, that was like a, a small hole and um, I had to sew that back up um, and then I start, started using rugby and football socks which are the current ones that I use um, so I've got some yellow ones here um, and these work great they're really breathable they've been you know football and rugby has been around for ages and obviously the socks they use they it's been you know there's a lot of trial and error on that and uh, you know you get a good company that creates um, socks or provides socks for football and rugby you're going to get a really good um, sock well, I'd probably say these are more of a stocking um, than anything else uh, but I shall put these on they're quite easy to put on so I I'm you I'm doing two different colors um, these are basically the colors of my family crest is the reason why so <clears throat> they go on quite easily over the over the top of my knee protection and over the top of my um, shin protection <sighs> easy peasy go over the top I mean you don't have to wear these but they they kind of keep everything in place stop things shifting around um, and it looks cool as well so it goes over the top of the, the leg just like that um, you can fold that down so I, I do a little bit just gives double layer there where the uh, protection doesn't exist and I'll go over that in a second other sock just need to shimmy everything up and then it's quite easy to just drag everything up the leg so again these are fairly inexpensive you're talking about a tenner eight eight pound something like that to a ten pound um, and they're good quality they'll last you um, and I wash them every use as well so I'll get a couple of pairs of these if I do HEMA twice a week then uh, that's quite easy just to get a second pair on um, so yeah these are very breathable I might have mentioned that there we go so that is my sock or stocking um, they don't provide any protection this is more for keeping everything in place nice and tight around the leg so you've got a small silhouette um, nothing sticking out there's no straps or buckles that are going to be clipped or cut or broken by uh, being hit so nice and smooth um, form fitting as well and very protective so yes the next thing I put on are 
my pants, um, my spares pants. So I'll just go and get those. So these are my spares pants. These protect my uh, my waist down to my legs. Um, <clears throat> so upper legs protection. And uh, yeah, so they've got the knee cops uh, attached to them. Um, and I'll put these on with the knee cops and then I'll go over what this uh, garment actually protects. Okay, right, I have to stand up for this. Quite easy just to put your legs through. And not many straps. I think I've got this strap that needs to go over. Yeah, they come with these uh, sort of like straps that go over the shoulders. That, um, I do a bit of crooked, kind of crisscross. Some people just do them straight. Um, but they kind of pro pro provide uh, uh, a bit of like suspension, just like suspenders, uh, that goes down. Oh, got to put a zip up. That goes down. Um, and keeps these legs um, up um, so they don't sag down and get in the way, crumple up. Everything's nice and tight. Well, actually, I'll show you how that, <laughs> that goes. So, as soon as these goes on, on they go. Everything is not kind of sagging down, getting in the way. It's nothing's going to fall down. Um, so it's good to have that as a part of uh, the pants and I don't need to buy any, you know, the type that you suspenders you use for the, uh, like a suit or something like that, they come with it, which is great. So the knee cops, these are spares style. Um, there are different brands that do the same, um, like Red Dragon here. <sighs> these Red Dragons are very good because they have like wings, uh, just like in armor, um, on the pollings, uh, that protect the side of your leg. Uh, I think that's a great feature. The spares don't do that. Um, but yeah, these, these are pretty damn good. And, uh, it's quite an easy way to protect your leg and your knees. Um, I use these spares ones. Um, so yeah. So the reason why I have those you know, that's the supporting kind of the knee uh, thing that I have here is extra, extra protection for the, for the knee. And also there's a gap in between my shin and my knee. And to cover that, I use this black, black kind of padding, um, uh, support thing. Um, to use as extra protection within those gaps, um, especially the gap between the knee and the shin, because um, your knees are going to bend, and somebody's going to somebody somehow is going to find uh, a way to cut into that. It's just going to happen. If there's a gap, somebody's going to find it. it. You know, it'll be an accident, but it happens, and it happens more than you know. Um, so I put these on. These go top quite easily, I've got the strap going this way, and then these go on the same way. So I currently have these suspended on like a, a loop that the Spez Pants provides and they're sewn on so they keep up, they don't slip down and they're strapped to the back of my leg back of my knee here um, and the straps aren't too long and they stay on and they don't get in the way so my entire leg pretty much I'll just correct that for a second it's obviously a thicker leg but it's nice and form-fitting it's not chunky there's no straps coming off there's no buckles that are sticking out this is a nice form-fitting leg, especially if you're fighting Boschbecton, which is unarmoured fighting and anywhere can be a target. So you want the smallest and slender target that you can possibly um, present whilst having the maximum amount of protection. Uh, so 
I can take a real hit to the knees here because I have um, the padding from the spares pants, I've got the cop here and I've got um, underneath this padding I've got extra padding from the I don't know, that black suspender padded thing that goes on the knee um, and then the tiny gap that is stripped here is also protected um, when I bend my knee and if I get a, any kind of hit there um, I, I have some form of protection um, especially from steels uh, and then I've got this nice slender hockey shin guard um, so yes and then of course trainers go underneath that I wouldn't say that that's part of the protection um, I use normal trainers um, Nike trainers nothing special um, you want something that can breathe and something you can move around but that's a whole different subject matter footwear is very important in HEMA just like in any other any sport really so uh, that's that's a different subject um, I just wanted to go over uh, the leg um, and how that protected I just want to talk about this uh, the uh, spes pants protection so you'll get a pad here that goes in the groin near to the groin you'll have a pad here that's on the side of the leg and you have like quilted padding that goes uh, to towards the bottom of um, uh, your upper leg around here that's all quilted the back none of it's protected here this is all just breathable material especially on the inside here this black stuff that's right up there you're not gonna get hit there you'd have to you know get underneath there but you're protected with your um, jockey strap or your 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 box anyway so yeah the back of the knee here I mean you're very unlikely to get hit there um, so it's, it's unnecessary protection really um, you just need it on the direct areas where facing forward so yes um, that's about it really uh, I just wanted to go over the major bits of kit for the leg and how I do it. There's there's other ways of protecting your leg, but this is my preferred way. So thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next one.